Hey guys, it's Pamela. And believe it or not, it is Saturday. Yeah, y'all will believe it. It is Saturday, August the 14th, the day of mine and Kelly's sale. And I'm just now doing the first haul from my purchases at the World's Longest Yard Sale. But I had promised a couple of you that um, I would show what I was um, going to have in the sale tonight in a haul. And I just started organizing and putting things up. And anyway, the time got away from me. So I'm going to try to do a quick one right now because I want to watch Dee's sale. So I'm going to try to upload a quick one of some of the things that I'm going to have from what I bought in tonight's sale. But I'm also going to have some other things in the sale from um, some other things I had and stuff. Not from the yard sale, but just, you know, other things. And... Um, Kelly bought some things, but I don't know if the things that she bought, she's going to have in the sale. She bought from somebody else. So, when she gets down here tonight, we'll talk to her about it, and I'll do her haul, and we'll see what she's going to have out of what she bought that she wants to sell in the live sales as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to upload, no, I'm going to upload one haul per day. One haul per day from the World's Home Yard Sale. Because there was a bunch of stuff. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff. And y'all know I talk. But I'm going to try to go through this one really quick. So y'all have time to watch it before our sale tonight. Okay. And some of the things I do not remember what I paid for. Some of the things I bundled. But I will tell you ahead of time that I spent right at $1,000 on this sale. And that did not include my hotel room or my food. It did include food if I was out in a field and bought something from a food truck. It included my Diet Cokes every day. But that's it. I mean, you know, so. But it was it was still fun and it was worth it. And a lot of the stuff is for me. But. So we'll get started. And the stuff I'm showing you, if it's for me, this is just the first little box of stuff I got to, and that's what I'm showing. And if there's anything in it that I'm keeping or I'm not sure about, I'll let you know. And if it's something that's for sure going to be in the sale tonight, I'll let you know that too. Okay. The first thing up, let me see. Now, sometimes I was able to remember, and I wrote down what it was. Okay. The first thing up is this beautiful, now I never had seen this before. This is a um, Viking glass, and the name of the pattern is Epic Crystal. It's a divided, um, abstract-shaped crystal bowl, and I can't remember if this was sterling or not. Yeah, I think it's marked sterling right there on the base. I don't have my magnifying glass with me but you can see the little bit but i thought this was gorgeous and i had never seen this pattern before and um it's just this is just beautiful and this piece will be in the sale tonight also this beautiful pink depression glass it's got four dividers in it it's in a silver plated um carrier and i think i paid twelve dollars for this one Looks like I paid $12. I think I remember paying, because I think it was marked 15, and she would she came down to 12. I tried to get it for 10, but she wouldn't do it. But it is just gorgeous and in fantastic excellent condition. I still have to watch this stuff up before the sale tonight, but um, I'll get it. Okay, what is it? Oh, this is from uh, Gottinger, Gottinger and Company, and it is... Their Antique Reflections Collection. And I never had seen this, but I'm into the blue and white now. Well, I've always been into transfer wear, but more so. But this is a leaf-shaped trinket dish with a little handle. And it's got a beautiful floral design on there. And um, I can't remember what I paid for this. I think it was $8, but I'm not sure. But this will be in the sale tonight. And... This gorgeous, here you go, Christy, here you go, ba-bam, ba-bam, this gorgeous swan, this, um, it says the swan trinket holder, $18, I think I got it for $15, i am not absolutely sure, some of these people wouldn't come down none, but I do not know who made this, but it's got an opalescent look to, well, I'll show you tonight, I gotta get through this, but I've got this swan, 
She is going to be in the sale tonight. Uranium Glass One. These two, I think I'm keeping for myself. Brown Transfer Wear. English, um, Staffordshire, England. These little bitty plates. I don't know if they're co coasters or what, but I just love this print on them. And I've, I'm probably going to put these in a little spot somewhere in the house and display them. So, those are mine. So, I'm going to put those back over here. This is some more stuff. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to keep a cup, one pair of these, and then I'm going to do another. But all of this stuff right here that I'm showing you, I paid $65 for this stuff for me. Okay, and this is, it's Mark 30, but I got these for 20, and they are a set of, I haven't cleaned them up, but I will good, I will clean them up real good and show them to you. They're sterling silver, they're roosters, castles, deer, all kind of little hors d'oeuvre picks, but I've got to um, clean those up real good, and I think that there is 15 in there. I got these pair of marked Native American sterling silver and turquoise earrings for myself. And I got these. These were each $25, but he sold them to me for $20. And I got this pair, which is the concho shape with a stamp in them. And it's got the coral inside. And then I got this little sterling silver thimble. And um, I may give this as a gift to someone, and I may keep it. I'm, I'm not sure about this one yet. So that was $65 right there of my purchases. But I may I may offer a pair of these, because um, I think I have a pair similar to this, but I wasn't sure, so I went ahead and bought them. And I may offer those up in a live sale in the future, but it won't be tonight because i got to look and see. Okay, let me see if I remembered. I tried to write down if I remember something that. I think I paid ten dollars for these two, and I bought these because I never see the vintage wooden handle um, kitchen utensils in yellow. But look at this bright yellow and how good a condition they're in. And I think I paid ten dollars for the pair of these, or twelve dollars for the pair of them. And this, I know I paid ten dollars for it because they wouldn't come down. But it is a, a pair of the little bitty bluebirds of happiness, and it is signed Leo Ward, 1987, on the bottom. This will be in the sale tonight, as will these, the yellow handle um, thing. And I got these. These will be in the sale tonight. And these are homemade ceramic little angel um, candle huggers. They're marked eight, but I believe I got these for five. I'm not absolutely sure, but I don't think. I remember the lady I got these from, and I think she gave them to me for five. These sweet little candle holders, and she made them. And I just thought their faces were so sweet. And I'll show them to you better tonight. And I paid, these were marked 15 and I think I got them for 10. But everybody always loves these uh, Japan, see they're just marked Japan, uh, alligator salt and pepper shakers. And these were in perfect mint condition with both of the corks. So I had to go ahead and get them. They'll be in the sale tonight. This right here, I'm not sure about being in the sale tonight or not. I may keep it. It is um, just a heavy brass um, mirror, the Ormolu kind of style. It's marked 10, and I did pay 10 for it. It's got a foundry mark under there, but I can't see. And it's got an N monogram right there on that little shield on the inside. But see, I'm, I'm just drawn to stuff like this now. I'm just, I'm really drawn to things like that. Okay, and I got this little thing. Now, this is marked eight. I think I got this for five. I'm not sure, but I got this because it was so unusual. It is a very heavy ironstone creamer, but look at this like it's painted on finish, but it looks like airbrush and that little flower right there. I just thought that was so cute, and that's in the sale. 
And then Katie has turned me on to this stuff. And I don't know if this is the real old extra knot, but I got it because I, I it was a small piece and I did pay $12 for it. I remember this man, he wouldn't deal on nothing. I bought some wedge wood from him too that's in another box, but aggravating thing. But I got it because it's amber. Fall's coming up and I just took a I just took a chance on it because I don't see this that much around here. But it feels like the acid etched, but we'll have to ask Katie Bug and make sure about that. But it's, it'll be in the sale tonight. So will this uh, baby bin clock. And ever since I did my uh, clock video for y'all, I try to get one of these and share it with you. I got this frame, this little gold frame. This is for me. That won't be in the sale. This will be in the sale. This is a pink, I've tried to find as much pink depression glass as I could. A pink depression glass biscuit jar. It will be in the sale tonight. This beautiful Yukago 1950s vase. Pink and gray and white. It's 11 and a half, almost 12 inches tall. In perfect condition. It will be in the sale. Um, as well these. Now, I did show this on Instagram while we were there, but I don't know if anybody saw them. But these, I did not know that Shiny Bright made these little pine cone elves. But this is a complete new old stock set in the box. I've got the mag mag magicians, uh, musicians, and the elves. And I got three boxes. I got two for myself. I'm gonna sell one. And I paid $60 a box for these. But when you think about it, that's $10 a $10 a little gnome. $10 for each little gnome. And look, I mean, they're in perfect condition. So, I mean, I had to get them. When am I gonna sell them again in, in the box? You know? I just, I know y'all are gonna think I'm crazy. I know it. I got Katie. I was live on Instagram when I came through the booth that had this. She loved it. She said it was something that she'd been looking for. It's a rivet tin. And it was $38. And I talked him down to $32. And she told me to buy it for her. So I bought it for her. But that's not going to be in the sale tonight. I'm selling it directly to Katie Book. And let's see what else. Oh, I bought this horse, this bobblehead horse for Bella, Kelly's goddaughter, because she took care of Queso Baby for us, and I paid $8 for him, for her. We got to get that over there to her. And I got three vintage, one of these Christmas Better Homes and Gardens, 19... 60s and 50s, I think. I got three in here. One of these will be in the sale tonight. Um, I got this baby, this communion baby, this vintage baby doll, and it is, I'm certain it's communion because she's got on a little, <coughs> excuse me, pink rosary necklace here, but she is just in such good condition. And let me see. She's marked $6, and I'm sure I paid them every bit of that $6. I'm sure I didn't even try to dick her with that. But I'm not sure about her yet, whether she'll be in the sale or not. I hadn't made up my mind about her. And these three, I got these three roly-poly Santas, you know, that make the sound, you know. And they're marked $12 each, and this hussy would not come off of these for love nor money. So, I never, I wasn't seeing any vintage Christmas, so I got them. And one of these will be in the sale tonight, and I'm saving the other two till closer to Christmas. Well, one of them is for me. One of them would be in a sale closer to Christmas. And this set, how am I doing on time? Oh, my God. Oh. This set of, this I have to cut it short. This set of pink, white, and turquoise. Uh, juice glasses will be in the sale. So that's it. I'm fixing to upload this bad boy. And I'll see y'all tonight at 7 Central, 8 Eastern. Love y'all bunches. Bye.